Dudes, what is happening? This is Trent Kanuga, and uh, today I got the Cyborg Flame Trooper Part One for you. This is uh, this is available. There's the full length, real time. It's not really real time, but it's really close to real time. Full length video available on Gumroad if you wanted to go and check that out. It is part of Trent's box set of tutorials, Volume Two, Deuce, and uh, yeah, it's in the Deuce. So, um, but this is the, this is the super hyper sped up, uh, version. Um, and when I say hyper sped up, I mean like, yeah, maybe like 10 times. So I think the whole drawing took me about, uh, uh I think it took me about five or six hours. It was like, you know, two settings. Originally I was going to design like a Jedi, a dark Jedi. And then I started drawing and I was like, wait, I don't, I don't want to draw a Jedi, man. But I don't know what the cyborg trooper is for. I'm not making a game about this, and I'm not making a any kind of project for it. Um, this is what I do when I'm in between uh, contract jobs or when I am uh, waiting for feedback from a client. Sometimes, you know, that's the hardest part. There's a lot of challenges with uh, freelancing and uh, and running an art house. The biggest issue is uh mostly that sometimes your client will say hey man we need uh we need you to 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 be ready for all these jobs that we got for you next week but uh and then the next week comes and uh, you don't hear anything back so you're sending them emails going hey dude like hey uh you know am i working on your thing today and uh and then they go oh st sorry still waiting for the uh, feedback from another, the art director or from uh, somebody else on the team. And so that's when I go to work on my novel or indie game or just do some fun character design stuff or do YouTube channel stuff. And that's kind of, you know, just to keep my chops and uh, to uh, dig into, uh, I just, I wanted to draw, I think I'd been playing some Metal Gear recently and, uh, and I just felt like I don't draw enough cyberpunk kind of futuristic, mech -y kind of stuff. So I wanted to do that. Uh, I love creating like muscles out of like metal. Metal muscles are kind of awesome. Uh, you'll notice at one point in the drawing, he had dreadlocks, like cyber dreadlocks. <laughs> I ditched that idea. So uh, one thing, gosh, you know, I, I, mega videos always makes me feel better. But truth be told, dudes, I'm in a rut, man. I'm down. I'm kind of depressed. There are there are some there are some dudes out there that are going to they're going to try to convince you that concept art is dead. They're going to try to convince you that drawing is pointless venture, that everything's about photo bashing now and just taking a oh here's a here's a photo of a waterfall and and I just I, I colorized it and then I slapped it into my painting and, and then I charged my clients ten thousand dollars <sighs> my longtime rival yeah what do you mean of course I have a rival every artist has a rival it's like the Schwartz you know I got the light side he got the dark side he he he's pushing for this kind of a thing and he wants to convince you that there's no point in you learning to draw anything learning anatomy learning how to render or learning anything about how to uh, you know even embracing the the love of of drawing in in what you do because it's 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 all about just photo bashing now he'll tell you that concept art is dead he'll tell you that drawing is dead i think i was i think i was really i was cool with it cuz like you know hey uh, he's not he's not causing me no grief. Hey, why not? You know, just do your thing. Do what you do. Live and let die, like Guns N' Roses said. You found your niche. I'm happy for you. Cool with that. Good amount of subscribers. Good amount of followers. I'm cool with that. Until this dude called me out, specifically, by name, calls me out and says I'm old school. I'm not old school, man. I'm only 38. <laughs> I've been I've been doing drawing since you was in diapers, boy, boy. But this dude's doing workshops all over the place. He's got legions of followers that are flocking to to hear what he has to say about how ever there's no there shouldn't be any passion in what you do. And I'm 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 here to tell you, man. Just like drawing is not dead. The dynamic human spirit refuses to submit. Drawing is not dead. There is there is absolutely tremendous value to your creative efforts. And you may be able to fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people 
uh, all of the time, I think. Is that how that goes? I have to look that up. But this dude, I, specifically, he pointed at some of my processes and he said, specifically, you take too long. You take too long. But I'm looking at dudes like, I'm looking at Ketsuya Tirada. That guy takes as long as it takes to make it good. Sure, he's like a craftsman. This guy is like a master craftsman. The core philosophies of some of the greatest video game companies in history, these companies, their core philosophy is that it's done when it's done. There's no shortcuts. There's no half-ass in it. It's like what Yoda said. Is the dark side stronger? No. Quicker, easier, more seductive. But once you go down the dark side, forever will it dominate your destiny. That's Yoda. I didn't say that. Yoda said that. And he knew a lot about drawing. And and yet this my my rival, who I, I don't wanna I don't wanna say his name, because that's not what I'm about. I'm not about even though he called me out, and it's probably gunslinger's mentality, it's probably quickest draw, quickest gun in the West. You know, always gotta watch your back. Um, because somebody's gonna see, hey, oh, Billy the Kid, you, you say they say you're pretty fast. They say you're pretty fast. So uh everybody always wants to test him. And uh, I'm not gonna go to I'm not gonna go to the mats with this guy. I'm not gonna go fisticuffs with this dude who, for the last ten years, has been on my back about this. And admittedly, admittedly, there are a lot of a lot of valid points, you know, to his his process. You know, hey, ship those games faster. <laughs> ship that stuff out faster, you know, um, you kick out those. If I could do 10 paintings a day and, uh, you know, uh, they'll pay me 10 grand a piece. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> That's a sweet gig. And you should do that too. Any, anybody should. That is of course, if this guy has anything to say about it, but what a, just what a, a guy, what a guy, but worse than all of that. Now, he, are you ready? Are you ready for the clencher? Here it is. Check this out. He uses my vacation photos from my Facebook in his photo bashing. Yeah. Is nothing sacred anymore? Is there, is there nothing that can go untouched and preserved in its originality, in its original form? No, there is not. Dead Mouse proved that, and so did Daft Punk and Millie Vanilli be long before them. And long before that, there was uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Oh, don't get me started on Ben and old Ben. Ben Franklin. Oh, geez. <laughs> this is going to be my, uh, my most unpopular or least popular video. I'm sure of it already. Uh. But getting back to the point, drawing is... You know, I when I was a kid, I just, I loved to draw. That was my thing. It was the thing that gave me my own voice. It was like, yeah, you know, my brother had building cars and lawnmowers. And, you know, he had like, you know, hanging out with girls and uh, going to parties. And he had a pretty awesome thing going, actually, while I was sitting at home drawing. But that was my thing, okay? It was satisfying to me enough okay and uh it gave me my own sort of personal identity and uh and also i got to make stories i got to make things that nobody else ever saw like that was an expression of myself it was the unique mark that i could leave on the world and this kind of gets to the point of my whole the whole thing here it's that uh if you're gonna do something do it with pride man take the time that it needs to 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 really like do it with pride. Do it with your heart and soul, man. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't want to see, I don't want to see as much of, um, it's not that I'm against business or I'm against productivity or anything like that. I'm absolutely for that. And I think there's a balance of economy and, uh, and, and yet efficiency and, and getting things done, you know, cause Hey, I, I don't like to wait my, you know, eight years between metal gear games, but you know, I do because they're, they're great when they come out. They're better than, you know, uh, many of the other games that they, you know, they do one every year. But if you're going to do a little piece of a big thing, put your soul into that little piece. You know what I'm saying? Put your soul into that little piece of that huge puzzle, that huge mural 
that, that you just did like one little square centimeter. If that square centimeter is a couple of swishes and then you took off because you just wanted a party, forget it, man. Don't even bother to show up. Let the guy who cares a lot get in there and do it. That's all I'm saying. But for me, man, I'm a craftsman. I'm an artist in, in that way. And uh, sure, I want to make something successful. But man, if, if it doesn't have heart, forget it. I don't care. I don't want to be a part of that. It's not my thing. So that's my diatribe for this video. Uh, you know, dudes, I want to thank you so much for <laughs> sitting through my, my rant. This is more ranty than I usually get. If you like my channel, please subscribe. If you like the, the Cyborg Flame Trooper and you want to see the actual like painting process, like I said, head on over to Gumroad. It's up there. It's in the box set of tutorials, volume two, as well as a lot of awesome other stuff. Uh, if you want to learn to draw like me, that's the place to do it, which is kind of what people tend to ask me for the most. Well, that's why I made it, man. Box set of tutorials. Check them out. If you made it this far into the video and you haven't figured it out, I, I don't, I don't actually, I don't have a rival. No, and there's no dude out there saying those things or doing those things. I, there, there are people saying and doing those things, and I don't agree with that. But I'm not, I don't have a rival. And as far as using photos goes, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't feel strongly against it. I, I use photos. I, in fact, almost everything that you see me do, I'm using photos. <laughs> That's not true. But I do use them a lot. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to photo bash uh, uh a uh, ship together in one of my future videos. So I guess I'm my own worst enemy in that way. Juxtaposing philosophies in one person. Ah, believe it. It's very exciting in here in my head. Like pretty much, well, yeah, most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time. That's it for me. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And until next time, a ciao, baby.